On this video of the uh, G. Kaiser production blog, I'm going to be showing off the uh, Pledge Reward t-shirts. This is only for those who uh, pledged for the show to donate money and uh, those who did the 25 and up bracket. Uh, these were printed by Ooples, who is an uh, anime and uh, t-shirt printing store uh, located in the Wonderland of the Americas Mall here in San Antonio. And uh, I'm pretty happy. The, uh, the artwork, of course, was drawn by uh, Chris Holm, our uh, storyboard artist and head of our art uh, team. So I'm very happy with the, uh, how they turned out. What I think I'll do is uh, we'll have a similar sort of shirt available that people can purchase and order off the website. It won't have, the, uh, of course, the I Support G. Kaiser uh, Episode 1 pledge on there. This is only for those who actually did that. And what I want to do is uh, find a way that we can offer uh, special um, advantages for people who are, have the I sponsored uh, G. Kaiser t-shirts. I haven't decided yet like what type of events that we will do in the future, but it's definitely on my mind what kind of events and what kind of perks we can give to people who show up to events with one of these t-shirts. Uh, we're also going, uh, I'm also going to be unboxing here uh, the Morgan Printing box. A box from Morgan Printing that has the, uh, the G. Kaiser uh, issue number one webcomic, uh, the printed version of the issue one of the webcomic. And these will be autographed by myself and distributed out to those who also pledged. Switchblade. And the opening of uh, this box has been sealed, so it has never been opened since it was packaged in. These are all going to be mint condition comics. Okay. And there we have uh, 200 pristine copies of uh, Death Fist G. Kaiser issue number one of the comic. And what's really cool about this comic, at least I thought, is that in the back we had little, uh, a bonus comic, Adventures in uh, Mangaland. And the idea was that when we did this, uh, it's basically supposed to show off some of the mythology of the world. But we're doing it uh, humorously. Like, for example, this one, we're doing a parody of uh, In Search of History with Leonard Nimoy narrating that old television show. And basically, the wizard Sayoki is forcing uh, ha uh, Richter, who was the main character of the webcomic, to basically watch this tape and learn about the history. But the, uh, the budget was very low. It basically had uh, Anne Heck playing the role of the goddesses. It had Michael Moore. It had Britney Spears uh, directing it. It was all basically meant to be funny uh, and like parody, you know, the recreation with the actors that they used for um, In Search of History. So uh, this is what the comic is. I'm going to be uh, autographing uh, them and sending them out along with the t-shirts. Now then, I want to say something about these uh, comics that I've autographed. These four comics right here, these are not just autographs. What I have here is I've labeled them. They say... Uh, here's my autograph right here, and then it says pilot episode pledge reward one of four. There are only four people who uh, who, who have pledged enough money to uh, earn a autographed uh, comic book of these uh, short print runs of the uh, episode, of the first issue of the webcomic series. So I wanted to do something special, and I myself, um, avid comic book reader over the years, not so much these days but when I was a kid and I always thought what was weird was like you know they have autograph uh, comics I had a few myself but they're so common you know and you don't really know what the autograph was for was it because they stood in the line were they a personal friend you know was it as a reward for something what was it for so I thought that when I did this when I did my autograph I would actually say that this was a reward for uh, donating to the pilot episode because in the future, I've got a lot of these comics. I might also make these available, uh, these comics, 
a pledge reward in the future for other uh, fundraising for the web series. But I wanted these comics, these first four people who donated enough money to, uh, uh, to earn the uh, autographed comic, I wanted these to be special. And I wanted them to be clearly marked that they're special. Uh, so this is what I did. I numbered each of them, each of them, one through four. And the number by itself doesn't mean anything. What it means is that you can verify that this was the second one uh, that was earned. This is the third one that was earned. This is the first one that was earned. And you, there's only four of them. Four. Four of these ones, particularly for this pledge reward. So in the future, you know, maybe these will be highly collectible if uh, the web series really takes off and becomes even like half as popular as Fred or the Guild or something. I think that in the future, these might be worth something if we do everything correctly. And that wouldn't have been possible without the support of the people who pledged uh, to give us a chance. So just like the t-shirts, uh, like clearly say that they were earned for donating for episode one. These comics clearly say that they were earned for donating to episode one. So. Thank you again, uh, those of you who pledged, and I hope that those uh, those of you watching this who did not have an opportunity to pledge, uh, maybe next time around you'll be able to pledge and earn uh, a special uh, comic and t-shirt for the episode two. So uh, this is an addition to the video that I made last night. Uh, I got to thinking about uh, if simply putting on here that it's one out of four, is that really going and putting my autograph on it? Uh, because there, uh, is that really going to secure uh, that these are authentic copies? You know, what if G Kaiser really blows up? What if it becomes massively huge? What if it basically becomes Power Rangers? These comics are going to be worth a lot of money. So I need to do something to help uh, ensure that we can verify which ones are real uh, autographs of mine, which are the real four comics that were the pledge rewards, and which ones are are dubious. So this is what I've decided to do. This is ink, black ink. I'm going to stick my thumbprint onto the pages of these comics. And I'm going to keep one of these comics myself, uh, for myself, which I've labeled as, uh, basically it's the proof that it, here's my signature on it and here's my thumbprint as it is uh, today when I put these thumbprints on here so that these four can be verified against this, which stays in my possession, to verify that they are authentic. Uh, they are the authentic four, uh, authentic four pledge reward comics, and I will do that also for all of the other uh, pledge future pledge reward comics as well when we raise capital for all the episodes, so that you can be secure in the knowledge that these cannot be forged, basically. I mean, good luck forging my thumbprint when you don't have a copy of the comic. So I just want to let people know that uh, I'm really uh, thinking ahead of, uh, in terms of protecting people's um, investment, if you will, when they, when they go for the pledge rewards, if that's what your aim is with pledging for us. So thank you for watching this video, and uh, I hope that you will enjoy the next one that we create. We're going to be shooting this weekend. Really looking forward to it. And I have some more videos I need to edit uh, for the RPG Fanatic show, so I'll uh, round this video up. Thanks for watching. Till next time.